Reporter Sarah Rosario shows us how these calls are wasting time and possibly putting you at risk. If you have an emergency or you're trying to get in touch with law enforcement, it is okay to call 911. But with more and more people abusing the system, it's not only a waste of taxpayer dollars, it could land you in jail. All right, uh, I'll put like a comforter in my washer. It's like a pretty nice comforter, it's like $50, and they just take it out of my washer. Yes, that's a real call, just one of several in Hillsborough County, taking up the time of dispatchers trained to walk you through murders, robberies, and even a health crisis. Well, just know, today, I got a call from my court-appointed state attorney for my child, and I was reported and knocked on because of my social media life. I also contacted my police. I guess I'm calling because I have a baby listed in my house, and he uh, crawled in my um, printer. The baby crawled in your printer? No, a baby lizard. Oh, a lizard. One, one, one is your emergency? <laughs> Oh, yes, a chicken, too. While these are more cases in Hillsboro, it's the same in Hernando. Police arrested this Brooksville woman just last week for calling 911 several times just to talk. And Carolee Hammond of Spring Hill arrested for calling 911 nearly 10 times asking for a ride. Bottom line, these calls are tying up valuable resources meant for emergencies only. You're putting lives at risk by doing this. You don't control me. You don't control my media life or my real life. Nobody controls me but me. And I am 56 years old. I'm going to fucking do what I want when I want. And none of you jerk offs are going to stop me. And I'm going to continue to call my police and report all the continued threats being put against me. If you're convicted of misusing the 911 system, you could spend a year in jail and pay a $1,000 fine. Do it more times, and the sheriff says you could spend up to five years in jail on felony charges. But I called my police today, and they both came out, and I told them everything that's happened. Police say she called 911 not one, not two, but 39 times in just four hours. The woman was arrested. The maximum penalty for making a false 911 phone call is 90 days, but it increases, increases to six years behind bars for each additional call. And I told them they're going to play, continue to get calls about me. And they said, that's fine. They're very well aware of what's going on. And I said, if I have to, I will call myself 100 times a day and I will continue to report all the continued threats and all the continued harassment. Calls to 911 that are not emergencies are wasting the time of dispatchers with crazy requests. The I teams discovered these calls happen all the time and you paid for it. Courtney Garish is here with outrageous costs of 911 abuse. Courtney. Yeah, Carol and Mike, when you need help fast, you dial 911. But what if you had to wait? Because rescue workers are dealing with bogus calls. That's just part of the price of 911 prank. Anyway, but again, just know that the more that I'm threatened, the more I'm going to call my police. Trish believes the quick response by 911 saved her life. And my husband. But what if those resources were not available? What if emergency crews were tied up by nonsense calls? Calls that end up costing you money. There are people that take advantage of the system. Anyway, but again, just know that the more that I'm threatened, the more I'm going to call my police. Is taxpayer money going towards um, us going to a bogus 911 call? Hi, everyone. It's me. I just got the call back from my local police, and here's what he told me. He said, I am to stay completely unsubbed and stay clear of everyone's channels. I am to stay away from everyone's community page. I am to stay away from everybody's comment sections, completely keep to myself when I'm online. And the only way I can interact with people is when I'm doing my crap. Just know, I called, I contacted my police. They just called me back. I had the next threat reported. Again, the police are very well aware of my situation. They are very well aware now of the next threat that has come in. So again, just know, every time I'm threatened, I pick up my phone and I'm going to call my police. And if I have to call them 100, 200, 300 times a day, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Because if you don't, 
Like I said, I'm going to keep calling my police each and every time I'm bullied, harassed, intimidated, threatened, pushed around, knocked down. I am going to have the right to call my police and have it reported. What's not safe is this. This is 911. What is the address? Uh, this is not actually an emergency. I tracked your non, uh, non-emergency non number, but nobody answered it. Calling 911 without a real emergency, you never know who may be waiting, who desperately needs the help. So the next person that wants to legally threaten me, just know it's been documented. And I will be again contacting my police and I will be reporting you. Closer to home, Phoenix police arrest a woman for repeatedly calling 911. We told you about this. Now she's getting ready to head to court for it. And ABC 15's Corey Rangel has our first chance to hear those calls made to dispatchers and the new details about this case. Phoenix 911, where is your emergency? It's a frantic call to 911. Hurry up before they kill him. The caller claims she's worried about someone getting killed at her Phoenix apartment building. <laughs> Do you all want me killed? Do you all want me deceased? Police show up and find nothing, but it's not a surprise to officers. It turns out the same woman, Linda Ruiz Rodriguez, made nearly 130 calls to 911 in just five months, making up fake emergencies, according to this police report. Before arresting her in July, police warned Rodriguez about calling so much, which she even brought up while on the phone with dispatchers. Somebody yesterday that came over here said not to call 911 anymore. That they were going to cut me off to jail, and I don't know who it was, but I have every right to do whatever I Nobody want. Nobody controls me but me. And I am 56 years old. I'm going to fucking do what I want when I want. And none of you jerk-offs are going to stop me. Police tallied all of the phone calls and estimate Rodriguez spent about three hours on the phone with dispatchers. Friends and neighbors tell me Rodriguez suffers from mental health issues. Rodriguez is scheduled to be in court on Thursday. Bottom line, these calls are tying up valuable resources meant for emergencies only. You're putting lives at risk by doing this. If you're convicted of misusing the 911 system, you could spend a year in jail and pay a thousand dollar fine. Do it more times and the sheriff says you could spend up to five years in jail on felony charges. Reporting in Brooksville, Sarah Rosario, ABC Action News. Five words. And being told what I can and cannot do. So you know what? All of you just need to shut the fuck up. Well, just know today I got a call from my court appointed state attorney for my child and I was reported and knocked on because of my social media life. I'm done because of my social media life. So today I actually called the Oregon State Bar and I reported it. I also contacted my police. But I called my police today and they both came out and I told them everything that's happened. And I told them they're going to play continue to get calls about me. And they said, that's fine. They're very well aware of what's going on. And I said, if I have to, I will call myself 100 times a day. And I will continue to report all the continued threats and all the continued harassment. So the next person that wants to legally threaten me, just know it's been documented. And I will be again contacting my police and I will be reporting you. No joke. You don't control me. You don't control my media life or my real life. Nobody controls me but me. And I am 56 years old. I'm going to fucking do what I want when I want. And none of you jerk offs are going to stop me. And I'm going to continue to call my police and report. Anyway, but again, just know that the more that I'm threatened, the more I'm going to call my police. And the more I'm going to report all the continued threats that are being made against me. You want to continue to threaten me? 
I'll keep calling my police. Simple as that. And if you don't like it, tough shit. So just know that each and every time that I am being bullied or threatened or harassed, I will pick up my phone and I will continue to call my police and I will have it reported. And I will physically have my police come out to my home. Keep going. I think it's time I get off here and call my police. But just know I'll be back. I am not going to be stopped from being on this platform. So there's that.